Hey guys, welcome here. Welcome to the elephant program right here at the Topeka Zoo. We are super excited that you guys picked today to come out because we have something very special in store for you. I know that you wanna learn as much as you can about elephants and there's one person I always go to to do the same thing and that is to our elephant manager. So if you guys wanna follow me through this gate, we'll go find Kim and you guys will start your experience. Come on. Hi guys. Hi. My name's Kim and I take care of the elephants here at the Topeka Zoo. I hear you guys have some questions about the elephants. Yeah. yeah. All right guys, you're gonna meet Elise. She's in charge of enrichment here for the elephants. Are you ready? Whoa. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Good. What do you think this soccer ball is for? We don't like exercising or playing. Exercising, it's fun. Our elephants love to play soccer. It's very enriching, and that's what we're here to talk about, enrichment. It's what expands the animals' minds. It's something new, something fun, and it, we like them to explore new things. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. My name is Elise Neuer, and I'm an elephant trainer at the Topeka Zoo. And one of my roles at the Topeka Zoo is working with enrichment with the elephants. The enrichment program at the Topeka Zoo is making sure that Elephants Day is filled with fun. We make sure there's a ton of enrichment out in the yard and enrichment includes food being scattered, lots of different treats as well as healthy treats including apples and celery and sweet potatoes as well as their hay bags. Something that would be so basic as food hung up high up in the air allowing them to stretch their trunks out is enrichment for our animals. We also make sure our elephants are allowed to roll over logs. We prop them up high. We make it a challenge for our African elephant, for example, to uh, knock some things down if she can. All of these items are very important for our elephants, just so it's, it's a basic exercise for the most part. Our girls are considered geriatric. They're a little bit older. So being able to push a log over or flip a tire allows them to stretch muscles that they need to constantly work out so that they move with ease. We know that they can get up and down really, really well. And so seeing them push these logs and find these treats and do anything with their body knows that they are moving really, really well. At the Topeka Zoo, our elephants love to paint. It's very fun to watch them light up when we bring out the colors. Blue and metallics are their favorites. Non-toxic acrylic paint, it tends to work the best. So our mud wallow at the Topeka Zoo is really not much of a wallow, it's more of a mud mound, and that is because we do have geriatric girls, and we wanna make sure that they are able to prop up against it if they would like, and get up with ease if they need to. And this is the best time for the elephants, especially in the heat. It allows us to cool our girls off, and it allows us to get them to roll around in the mud and check to see how well they're moving as well. It also helps their skin care as well as it prevents flies from biting them. We do notice them sleeping in it at night to help cool themselves off as well, so it benefits them throughout the day. I'm Kim Doman. I am the elephant manager at the Topeka Zoo. I oversee our elephant program, which is the daily care, training, and overall health care of the elephants at the Topeka Zoo. The training program essentially is in place to help the 8,500 pound animals take part in their daily care. If we train them to lay down and take a bath and do all their health care, then they enjoy the process and then they are never made to do anything. They actually participate willingly and it makes it easier on animal and staff. The girls get bathed every day. Most of the time it's like a hose bath or a mud bath, but two times a week they get a full scrub bath. We do use elephant soap, so it's called Zafari Elephant Wash. It's a no tears formula, they can actually eat it. We cover them tail to trunk tip with it and it's really good for their skin care. It helps moisturize their skin so they don't get dry skin. It's a good time for us to look at every square inch of them. We do routine body checks where we look at them all over to make sure everything looks good. 
footwork is a maintenance behavior where they present their feet while we remove layers of the big callus on the bottom of their feet. It allows us to make sure that there's nothing caught in any of the cracks like pebbles. Their nails, we uh, use a big rasp to file them down. Essentially, they get a pedicure fairly often. The more we maintain them, the easier it is to keep them the shape they're supposed to be. We do blood draw with the elephants as part of their medical husbandry. They're trained to present an ear because the skin there is a lot thinner and the vessels are easily accessible. They stand voluntarily and they receive treats just like you would at the doctor. We draw blood for a variety of reasons. Usually once a month they will send it off just to make sure all their numbers are in the normal ranges. We'll also bank extra samples in case anybody wants to use them in research throughout the country or even the world. At a couple places they're actually using elephant blood to try and solve pediatric cancer because elephants don't get cancer as often as humans do. My name is Joe Maloney. I'm one of the elephant keepers at the Topeka Zoo. My job is to take care of all of the elephants' physical and, just as important, their psychological needs, so we want to keep them physically healthy and mentally happy and mentally stimulated. So one of the things we do is we change up their habitat three times a day. You could think of it as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So every morning, we will rearrange the yard. We'll do things like move around their big logs. We have a big skid loader that will uh, move around the logs. We can stack them in uh, old tractor tires that have been donated. This is in large part for our African elephant. They like to play more rough with their environment, pick up logs, throw them around. For Asian elephants, we will set up the yard in ways that are more food oriented or scent oriented. Various types of produce, uh, fruits and vegetables, we will cut that up and hide it around the yard and scatter things around so they have to go look for it and find it. Browse is a, is a big thing that we do. One of the most important parts of their diet in the wild are trees. We'll put the tree trunks in the yard. The elephants will eat the bark off of the tree trunk. But anything smaller than that, the branches, they will eat the branches whole, leaves, wood, and all. So that's something that they really enjoy. It's enrichment and it's also a vital part of their diet. One of the reasons we like to hide the food is because they have to not only move, which is good exercise for them to walk around the yard to find it, but they have to think about it. They have to go searching for the food, which is much more representative of how they have to find food in the wild. They move from here, they move to there, they have to constantly search for, for their food sources. Having people they're comfortable with and that they have an established relationship is a big part of their mental and emotional well-being because just like with humans, you know, when I go to work, I don't demand something of my coworker if I want something done. I'll ask them if they would do something and it's really a very similar relationship. I come to work and I need the elephant's help to take care of them, so I will ask them to do something and the goal of our training and our reinforcement is to get them to want to work with me and to want to help me because you can't really make an 8,500 pound animal do anything. I have to get them to want to work with me and enjoy working with me and then I can better take care of them as a result. It's a different feeling when you're working with the elephants, when you can walk up and they can reach out to you and you can have that contact and they can express to you in their own way how excited they are to participate in what you're doing. The happy squeaks, the rumbles, holding of your hand. You don't get that with all the other animals. You still have a relationship with them, but the bond is not as strong as it is with the animals that can give as much back to you as you can give to them. The elephants at the Topeka Zoo, to me, are my heart. They are my family. They mean everything to me because they consider me part of their family and they are a part of mine.